Hey guys, Nicole Herrick here with you. Today I'm going to take you through the various ways of how to add Amazon affiliate marketing to your website in order to make some a little bit of extra cash on the side. Oh hey, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel so that you can get all the latest tips on how to use Wix and Amazon Associates. All right, so my example that I've grabbed is just one of the free Wix templates. Um, it's for a yoga studio. So obviously they um, have a yoga studio and they do classes and things, um, but they don't actually have a store or anything like that. But their customers want to be buying yoga mats, water bottles, that kind of things, um, gym clothing, all that kind of thing. So perfect example. All right, so you need to sort of figure out where on your site you can actually put some ads. So one place that I just quickly thought was, okay, if we move this element over a little bit and then we create a little bit of space over here to put some ads in. Okay, so let's look at the first way that we can add a very, very basic Amazon ad. If I go over to Amazon, I make sure that I'm logged in to my Amazon Associates account so that I get the site stripe up the top of the page. And I'm gonna look for yoga mats. Okay, now you want to be picking something that is middle of the range, I would say. So obviously you don't want to sort of be choosing the cheapest thing. You could go down the path of choosing the most expensive um, yoga mat because you know that you're making it a percentage of what the customer puts in their cart and actually buys within that 24 hours. But having a really expensive one in there doesn't mean that you'll get many people actually buying it. So I'm going to go for something middle of the road. So. They started at about 15. So we're gonna try and pick something around about the $50 mark. Okay, so after having a little look through and kind of trying to decide, you know, what kind of mats would this particular customer probably be interested in? Um, I found a multicolor one that's around about the pricing that I wanna go for. What I wanna do is go up here to the side strap and click on text and image. So it'll show you here how that comes up. Um, as an ad. So you can actually take the border off if you want to, um, make sure that you've always got ticked open in a new tab, and then it will highlight the little ad for you. Now it doesn't give you any control over the sizing of the ad, um, but we'll show you how that looks anyway. So you wanna click copy on your keyboard, control C or Apple C, and then you wanna come over here and you wanna go to the ad bar, and then go down to more, and then HTML code and just click and drag that onto your site. Okay, so let's move that over here. I'm gonna enter the code by simply clicking in here, hit paste and then update. Okay, then we can close this and then this will just need to be resized a little bit so that it fits in without that. And then what you can do is you can, now that you've got the right shape, you can hit copy paste Add another one, go and grab another yoga mat, um, just using the text and image and pop it in there. And you can have a series of them down the side of your page like this. Adding native uh, shopping ads to your Wix website. So I'm gonna go over to my Amazon Associates page, not Amazon, the Amazon Associates page. And we wanna go to product linking and native shopping ads. Okay. And if you scroll down and go to create ad unit, and we're just gonna go recommendation ads. Okay, and we need to call it yoga health. Okay, so just give it whatever name you would like. I always like to go with um, the grid format instead of a list. Um, and we are going to choose Let's go for sports and outdoors. And then we're gonna pop a keyword in here of yoga. Alrighty. Um, we can go to the advanced settings um, and change these if we like, um, but it will give you a responsive ad. Let's go save and view the code. Alrighty, so let's highlight this code, uh, code, click copy on your keyboard. Let's go to our Wix website and you wanna add and go to more and then HTML code. Let's just drag this to the spot. And then we want to hit enter code, click in here, and then hit paste and update. Alrighty, so sometimes this doesn't quite come up properly. If it doesn't, just save your website 
and um, publish if you've already published and then reopen the editor. It can just get a little bit fiddly but this one seems to be working fine. All right, so I want to drag it out until I lose that side scroll bar. And there we go. So we don't have a huge amount of um, Amazon logos and things anywhere. We do have the Prime logos, but that's fine. Um, it's, got, it's great because it's got ones with reviews. It's just picking a, a variety of different um, products in different price ranges and things. And then it's got a tiny little one down here. So this is a great one um, to just set it up, forget about it, and it will also update these whenever it wants to. Like this, this can change, okay, depending on your person that's actually looking on your website. All right, so this one is a really good one. Okay, so let's have a look at a couple of other ways that we can add some ads to our Wix website with using Amazon Associates. So here is the promotion section. So I've gone into featured promotions. So in here we can look for different banners and things um, that are available for varying lengths of time. So for example, this one is only available until the end of the year. You can choose get banner and um, you can change the size if you'd like. Just um, highlight the HTML code, again going and adding a HTML code element, enter code, paste it on in there, click update, and then adjust the frame size, and there we go. So that's one that might be appropriate for my healthy yoga chicks and guys that are watching, uh, looking on my website. Um, but again, we need to remember that this needs to be changed once this ends okay so it needs to be changed by the end of the year so you would need to set an alarm for that one um, there's also different ones that have different end dates so some of them might only be um, might only go for a week um, and then there's other ones that actually go let me find one that goes so this one says evergreen so this one will actually change once it gets to the end of the year and it will change to something else um, yeah, here we go, ongoing ones. Okay, so ongoing just means that it will just continually go. There's no end date for this one. So you never have to sort of set a reminder to actually change this. Um, so this is baby exclusives. Mm, I like this one actually. There might be some quirky kind of people. There we go. Copy, run over, add HTML code, enter code, date. So there we go, there's some different ways of putting the banners on. So let's also have a look at the Amazon Bounty program. Okay, so the Bounty program basically gives you their, their shorter time frame banners and text links, um, but they uh, give you a, a dollar amount instead of a percentage. So again, the Amazon Fresh is something that would be quite good. Prime, Music Unlimited. So just have a look through these and figure out if there's something that maybe your customers might be interested in. Um, so let's say, all right, let's grab this one. And we just, again, need to copy the code. Grab a HTML element code. Put it down in here. Enter code. Paste, update. And there we go. So again, that one, I think that one had an end date. So just keep an eye on that. Okay, guys, thank you for sticking with me. I know that video was very long, but I wanted to give you a comprehensive overview of all the different ways that you can add uh, Amazon ads to your Wix website and get people clicking on through and making you some money. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Um, by subscribing, you help me to make a little bit of extra cash to do these free videos for you. Thank you all. Let me know if you have anything that you would like me to do a tutorial on. Bye.